Hello, welcome to North Yorkshire Open Studios, virtual Open Studios 2020. So this is um, approaching my studio, which uh, if the real thing were happening, you would come this way. And that sign would normally be out on the, on the main road. And usually, because uh, this is, I'm filming this a little bit early, um, all of the planters will be full of uh, nice flowers and uh, looking really pretty. But those Welsh poppies are looking good. Okay, so um, this is my studio. I'm really lucky to have uh, this, which is a, a, an old barn. Um, just a single pitch roof and it's north facing which is lovely so we have skylights that we put in when we first moved here 20 over 20 years ago now um, the barn was derelict and it was when we first saw it we thought wow we'll make a fantastic studio so just um, showing you around uh, there's a few uh, sketchbooks and things around. Let's just see if I can turn the page. You can see. Yeah, I like to sketch outside. Uh, also take photographs, and then um, bring them back to the studio to make the composition. So I haven't got all my work here, but. Um, Quite a few bits and pieces up on on the wall. Those are my ones inspired by um, Alexei von Jolensky. He um, use of um, cadmium yellow deep hue, which is in fact my favourite colour uh, to paint with. It's, it's um, end of April. We've had this lovely warm weather, but um, it is actually very very cold at the moment. Now those are my trees that I, uh, I enjoy doing, so a little bit of reflection on them there. They make a change from the work that I'm known for, which are the um, brightly coloured acrylics. Um, and these were actually some trees I had a composition from uh, Mark and Sally in the, in the village of Lockton, where I live where, and work. And um, they've got a wonderful view from their garden and the commission was to paint their view uh, and I got rather sidetracked by their wonderful trees which are actually just absolutely full of rooks nests at the moment um, probably heard them as, uh, as I was walking into the studio there so um, another sketchbook there I like these big um, sketchbooks get them from London um, I've dotted um, various um, Prints around. The prints are for sale on my website. Um, I think not all of the prints that I have are on my website. But what um, what you can do is if you see something in my gallery on my website and you think, hmm, I wouldn't mind either the original or a print of that, you can always um, drop me an email and ask me, I can do prints various sizes. Uh, with the lockdown at the moment, I've taken up my ukulele practice. Um, and I'm getting, finally, finally, something's clicked and I'm beginning to be able to play a few chords and do a bit of strumming. So I was quite excited about that when I was practicing last night. So there's my drawing board here. This is actually a sketch I started. Um, actually, that's a sketch I did outside um, and I'm going to be um, finishing, finishing that off at some point. Um, that was a little article that I had in Voice of the Moors uh, recent magazine, their spring edition, which was which was nice. That was that's just um, a mixed media sketch of some trees on the hill that uh, that I quite like. So I might do something with that. Okay, another sketchbook here, one of my smaller ones, which I've been using recently 
when I go out to, um, uh, you know, do a commission, sketch for a commission. Um, my cards are for sale. I have a good variety of uh, greetings cards for sale. I have framed prints, which are obviously harder to post, but uh, they usually go down well at uh, the Open Studios. Um, and um, there's a mixture, there's a little original there. Um, some more framed prints. Lots of different cards. You can buy them online on my website, which is www.suslack.artists. No, not suslack. Suslackartist.co.uk. Do you know I practiced that and I still got it wrong? <clears throat> so there we are, the wood store over there. I haven't got the stove on today, but you know, it's that cold. I think, uh, I think we probably could. So I have um, racks, which have my prints in. Sorry, that's not very good film. So, there. You'll be able to browse through those, normally. Um, I've also, because since the lockdown, been doing a few um, lessons. Actually, I've done nearly 20 now. I've been doing some little art lessons for, well, anybody really, on my um, artist Facebook page. So that's um, a little bit of uh, tonal drawing of cylinders that uh, I've started. Not quite finished it yet. It's been quite fun doing that for a change, just because um, I do a class um, in Pickering called uh, Busy Brushes, where we have a go at all sorts of things and um, so it's actually been, I've been missing that so it's been quite nice um, to do a little bit of work online. I even did a Zoom session for the WI last week so that was a, a new experience as well. A couple of these paintings are awaiting the commissions that are awaiting a uh, collection. That one's got a couple of little cyclists on, coming up through Troutsdale there, and uh, that's uh, Hall of Hawkham. I showed you some of the uh, sketches in my uh, sketchbooks earlier, uh, and I mentioned that I take photographs and I do sketches and I bring them back to the studio to paint. Um, often I start a painting upside down and that's so that it um, I don't get bogged down in detail and I get the shape of the land which is what's drawing me in, in into the composition in the first place um, and then the colour comes later so I'm just going to attempt a demonstration quick demonstration um, as this is supposed to be a short video of um, drawing upside down. Let's see what happens. So I've got, um, I've elongated an, a paintbrush here um, so that I've got a nice sort of broad, uh, free to, to sketch quite broadly on my uh, biggish canvas here. Um, it's of the whole of Hawkeye which I absolutely um, love and it's it's close by and I, what I really love about, about it is this lovely sort of snaky um, shape that you get of the um, the valley bottom, and then you're going up into uh, sort of I think this is an ancient woodland or something up here. Um, if I do courses for people, I often get some um, people drawing upside down. Um, and as I say, it just frees you. It's a quite a well-known technique. So just sort of roughing it that is a little bit. Um, and then uh, just getting these shapes in here. 
So I'm trying not to think really what it is I'm drawing. I'm just looking at those shapes. So I'm trying not to get too bogged down with what it is I see. Okay, so and also obviously trying to work quickly, uh, much more quickly than I would normally because it's only a short video. video. Carry on getting some of the, uh, the basic shapes in here. Your tree is quite uh, um, important to see, decide which direction the shadows are going as well. That's uh, always helps a composition. So, a few little, these little snaky line of trees here. Um, right, so we've got this coming up here. Got um, some in the background there. So just a little bit of light shading in there. An idea. And here. Okay, and then there's a little bit of um just do a general sort of horizon there, put some more detail in later. Um, and then here, let's have a look at some of these shapes here. Okay. I won't do too much because obviously we're, we're running out of time, so. see if it looks anything like. Okay, so let's turn it over, step back and let's have a look. Yeah, I think the basic very simple composition is there, um, ready to be worked on. I do the whole of Hawkins from various angles, it's beautiful from whatever angle that you look at it. Um, so don't forget if you uh, to look at um, uh, my website which is www.sueslackartist.co.uk I have a Facebook page which is Sue Slack Painter I also have an Instagram page um, and I will be updating my website so that there will be some more work for sale on it. Okay, so see you at the virtual open studios. Bye.